Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here with another video for items uh, that are inexpensive to buy for your voiceover setup. Now, I talk a lot about my Audio Technica um, ATH uh, M50Xs, my favorite pair. I also own the um, DT770 Pros, I think 80 ohm, and then I also have a pair of M30X. Uh, and the M50X and the M30X uh, sound really good. They're actually my favorite. They're the most comfortable when you buy the memory foam uh, ear pad replacers. Uh, but they are relatively expensive, especially this one. I think this is like $150. Uh, it's going to be my forever headset. But uh, the, the most inexpensive pair that I have bought is the m 30 X, which is still in the fifty to sixty dollar range, though is more budget friendly. For some people, you know, it's still a little too much for their setup. I mean, technically, the thing that you want to buy, uh, like the thing that you want to be the more expensive of your items, is probably either going to be your interface or your microphone. So your headphones often go down towards the bottom. But uh, I was on the search for a pair of relatively inexpensive headphones uh, for studio use, like um, voiceover. And I came across this pair right here, which is the Tascam uh, TH-02. That right there. Um, this is a, it's a fairly small uh, lightweight set. It's, it's all plastic. If there's any metal on this or in this it's like the speakers themselves and that's pretty much it uh there's probably not uh, it's probably just held together with like plastic uh screws now this isn't my my favorite pair of headphones to wear because it's for me it's seeing these ears you seeing that it's rather uncomfortable so i would definitely if i kept them i'd definitely have to get something like this on these memory foam pads to replace these with so I could wear them long term. But I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this headset um, uh, real quick. Number one, uh, it does come with one of these little adapters, one of these little bad boys. It's not like one of the gold ones that screws on, like on the Audio Technica. Uh, it doesn't screw on, it just clips on, but it actually holds pretty well and it sounds totally fine. There's not like any hiss or hum or interference through this thing, so that's fine. So the fact that it comes with that, that's good. Uh, and the fact that it's not just one of these, like if it was just one of these and it didn't give you the option, that would probably be kind of a downer because then you couldn't use it on the road when you do voiceover with your iPad. So the goal is to find something that you can use for basically inter any interface, any microphone, any situation. Um, uh, these headphones, uh, if I remember correctly, I think they're in the $25 range. Link to them will be down in the description. Uh, now, this was a pair that I had actually told someone might be a good buy. Now, my thing is, um, if I don't have, uh, if I haven't actually worked with that particular item, my goal is to not actually, you know, promote it. I'll tell you, you know, this is what I think about it, but I'll be honest in saying that I don't have any personal experience. So due to the fact that I had s told someone this might be a good pair, it's from a, you know, a name brand, relatively name brand, uh, relatively inexpensive, you know, uh, comes with a straight cable and not one of those coiled cables. I hate those things. If I had one, I'll just hate them. Um, so, but since I had kind of sort of suggested, I thought I'd pick the pair up and try it out. And for the most part, it is an okay studio pair of headphones. Now, another one of the things that I really like is the fact that it has a very long cord. It's about the same length as my Audio-Technica um, M50Xs, and it, it does give you a good uh, good amount of distance. So if you had your if you had a, you know, if you were attached to your computer, like if you're just trying to like listen to music and the computer's loud and you're trying not to hear it in the microphone or whatever, you can set it a good uh, distance away. Or if you wanted the interface a little bit further away from the microphone and the headset, you can do that as well. It gives you options. Uh, they're not detachable though. They are permanent. Um, but the fact that it's not one of those coiled cables, that's a plus. 
Um, you know, it is, uh, it, it, these, these ear pads can come off. Most headphones, it does give you the ability to remove these and replace them because these are like some of like the first things to go out. Uh, you know, especially if it's that pleather, that kind of like fake leather stuff. If you leave, if you leave it in the car and the sun and it dries out, it'll start to crack and you got to replace those. So you technically can find, as long as it fits that size, you can find some replacing pads. So, um, you know, that's also another plus. And the fact that it does have kind of a cushion here and the cushion here is actually pretty similar to that. So, you know, that is nice. It is cheaper though. It's thinner. So it probably will tear if you set it on something, you know, or set it on the sun, same thing. Now here's the con to this head headset. Um, it's really muffled. It's actually relatively muffled. Um, uh, which is not, not that bad. Uh, I have worked with headphones, um, that are relatively muffled before, like my, um, DT770s are a lot more, um, bassy than my Audio-Technica's. I don't know why I have to show you them every single time, but whatever. Um, it's, a, uh, those are a lot more bassy and I prefer the sound of these ones, so it may just be me. Uh, but these are actually really really kind of basic what it kind of sounds like um to try to give you some kind of example kind of sounds like i'm wearing a knit cap and it's covering my ears and then i have headphones on it kind of sounds like that a little bit um so if you're wanting precision if you're trying to do film editing if you're trying to do you know um you know precise editing to your audio to try to get every bit of the nuance these might not be the pair for you. But if you're just starting out and you're trying to get something for uh, doing uh, podcast, let's play, Skype, um, even audiobook, I think would be fine as long as if you're not doing that much editing and you have a decent microphone and a decent preamp, then it really doesn't matter that much. All you got to do is just, you know, hear yourself so you can cut out, you know, what you need to cut out or know that you're not you know, popping the mic, which this will tell you that if you're popping the mic. Um, but if it's for, you know, like professional industry stuff, radio, commercial, um, you know, uh, character work, this might not be the pair. But if you're just needing something that's really cheap to just throw in a bag and take with you when you go on the road or that you, you just need something to start out with and you need something that closes off your ears instead of the earbuds i think these are totally fine um so yeah i'm just trying to find something for you guys that's relatively inexpensive because people have been asking just like the mixer that i did or not the mixer the interface that i did uh from behringer not too long ago so i'm trying to find stuff more in that price range so anyway uh thank you guys for watching uh don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you'd like to see any other videos like this leave them down in the comment section below the link to this item will also be down in the description so until next time peace